Hello everyone, my name is Kurosar, and welcome back to Vintage Story Desert Life, Episode 9. This live stream was originally broadcast on April 20th, 2024. Enjoy the episode! Welcome Xanthipe, Cody the Rat, James Winterbottom, good to see you again. Gandalf the Magenta, love that. <laughs> But thank you, everybody, for coming to the stream. My name is Kurazar, and welcome back to Vintage Story Desert Life. Where, last time, we did a good bit of work in getting our place started here. We have the foundations of our initial build, and we are also well into the Copper Age. And... I think both of those, continuing to push this along, will be on the, the agenda today. But, we are a bit short on coal. I think I have one piece sitting in one of these things somewhere here. There we are. Yeah, we're a little low on coal today. So, we are going to jump right into our stream with a few chores. First of all, someone pointed out in a video comment earlier that... There is a set of blocks over there, dirt blocks in our farms, that are not hoed yet. Which means rabbits could spawn in there, and we don't want that. So we're going to go and we're going to fix some farms here real quick. After we nap ourselves a fresh hoe. There we are. So let's get over there and let's fix this farm. Oh, and maybe even bring a few more seeds, too, while we're at it. Where's my seed vessel? Here we go. Let's do flax. Everyone loves flax. Good morning, Tina Kinkenon and Indy. I think I already said hi to you. Granny S., welcome. Glad to see everybody here. So, yeah, I kind of goofed. I did the thing that... Uh, I should never do, and I left these blocks untilled. And I think I'm not going to bother, like, fixing the farm layout here, because I have to uproot all these crops, and that would just lose them, so we're not going to. So we have a bunch of K crops over here. Let's go ahead and plant our flax seeds here. And while we're here, let's also get some water. And done. And we could also come over here and plant a couple more odds and ends. I do have a few more seeds and... Oops, don't fall in the water. And I do think, given that we only have a little bit of food, and our food security is okay but not great, let's go plant a couple more seeds. Let's see, we have onions won't survive. We're not very well, at least. Peanut seeds, or sunflower, or amaranth. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I would like a vegetable, but, uh... The onions will do, actually, because they're good till 40. And that's only three seeds, though. Let's bring along the amaranth, and just in case, the peanuts. There we go. Ah, uh, the dry stone ruin, the one over there. Yet yeah, today, we'll probably get to some ruin smashing in a bit. Uh, but there are some kind of, like, logistical things we need to deal with first. All right, let's, uh, ooh, let's grab the grass here while we're here. May as well. There we go. And let's see, this is all P over here. So let's drop... This is almost perfect. We'll have one peanut seed left over. There's some veggies. Here's some peanuts. Let's just drop one more. Mm, no, I'm going to hang on to it. I don't like having uh, different types of seeds interspersed. Well, I have that going on over here. There. That should do. Plenty of food. Welcome, Meteor Rain. Flax does make the world go round. Welcome, Fulger. Welcome, Lord of the Dans. 
Glad to see you here. There is a, a very reasonable chance that my dad is watching right now. He doesn't have a YouTube account. But uh, if you could say hi to Kura Dad at some point, <laughs> make him feel welcome. Let's have a bit of a bite to eat here. And, oh, we are out of cooked food. So let's take a quick break and see to that. If I have food. Do I have food? I've got food. Very nutritious grain and nothing else. Okay. Well, how's our nutrition doing? We are really high on grain, low on fruit and vegetable. So let's just do the grain, I guess. No harm there. Now, I think last time we tried to use peanuts in this dish, and I think it didn't work. I'm going to just, because I've forgotten, I'm going to try it just to be sure. Oops. Yep, no peanuts. Okay. Well, let's just scoot a couple of these over, and we have some rice porridge. Got a couple logs. And let's get a fire going on. And of course, it's time for some ASMR. Or I'll just walk into the fire. <laughs> Welcome, Grace. Welcome, Dustin Zinn. Thanks for coming to the stream. Welcome, Creep. Luna the Ladybird is here. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi, guys. <laughs> yes, I love this little sound from the lid bubbling and burbling. I know. Okay, I'll stop talking now. And there we have our little moment of ASMR. Okay, so how is this going along here? That should be fine. I think, so, next on the agenda is I want to do BBB, Bring Back Bees. Now, we're not going to do that right now because it is nighttime. Well, it is calm, so we could make a nighttime trip over, but I don't want to run into hyenas in the darkness. I also want to get a charcoal pit going, so I think that might be the next immediate thing I do. We have a few logs ready for charcoal and where did I put those shears are they over here yes no they're right here so let's get some shears going on we're gonna go and knock down the other trees that have grown and we'll bring the logs back and we'll start a little charcoal pit because since we have one coal left and I want to make a few more copper tools well we need the charcoal so, let's... Soybean seeds. Why are you in here? You go there. And you go there as well. Let's see, peanuts can reside here. I'm not going to worry about burying this underground because we have everything that's going to spoil. It's going to spoil in a long time. So, I think we're good there. Let's drop you off in here. We we'll only need one piece of grass for our charcoal pit. And we'll plop you down there. Welcome, Necromundi. You can't watch, but you're stopping to say hi. Well, hi. Thanks for stopping in. And we got Ben Ben and Zeros08. Welcome to the stream today. Let's go and shear us some trees, get us some more seeds. Importantly, get us more sticks. And then we'll dig us a little hole. All right, what do we got here? Oh, and I realized I forgot to put up the poll about whether I should do panning and stuff. Oop, my ankles. My poor, poor ankles. Uh, but I forgot to put up the poll about whether I should do things like panning on or off camera. So I'm going to try to do that after this stream as sort of my first priority. Although my gut feeling... I was crouching, yo. Maybe I just sheared the floor. But my gut feeling is that people are probably going to prefer that I do panning offline 
or perhaps in like an alternate like Wednesday stream. And maybe do like a, like a 20 questions light kind of thing. I don't know if I have the bandwidth for that in terms of like time because of toddler at home, but we'll see. There's a good chance I might at least do the first panning like just off camera to get it done because there are some resources that we need from that that will make the early game just a lot more pleasant. You know, candles primarily. <laughs> Storm Thunders, will the audience pan panning? They might. Y'all might pan it. And I wonder... Yes, okay, so I, I do think that on sand, acacia trees get, like, shunted down by a block. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I'll plant it on dirt this time, and I'll forget that I planted it on dirt. But we'll see how it grows next time. Sticks and seeds. Thank you, thank you, my goodness. Last week we did some tree chopping and got, like, no seeds, as I recall. Yeah, we're gonna need some of you too. We need plenty of charcoal and probably some uh, wood for building too. So I think acacia is probably the right wood to go with sandstone in the early game. Although we do have that uh, cheaty bronze axe, i.e. the one that we got from the ruin on our first stream. And that would let us get things like purple heart and ebony. Which could also be great colors because that nice dark mix of black and like a really bright orange stripe looks really good with sandstone and chat won't forget <laughs> there we go another tree down Literally, in the ground. Because this game's weird sometimes. There we go. Oh, we have copper right here. Oh, but I knew that already. It's already on the map. And let's get this other tree down. How's our inventory? Inventory is good. This will be a shorter job. torn on whether I should uh, work through the night because it's calm or sleep so it's bright and you guys can see what's going on. You guys have a preference? But while you're thinking about that, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this tree over here. This is kind of a, it's like a sad 1.18 Kapok <laughs> over here. I got four votes for work through the night so far. Five, six. I guess we're working. I'll work until the rift activity changes, and then we'll uh, hightail it home, if it does change. Interesting, so the Kapok trees don't do that sinking into the sand thing. Just the acacia. That was weird. Very weird. And I did forget, uh, if we uh, run out of food, we do have these bamboo shoots over here we can fall back on. And of course we can forge some fruit from some of the saguaros. Boing, boing. Alright, let's go drop off, probably a decent chunk of sticks. So we have more sticks than we need at the moment. Perfect. That is a good start. And do I have a thing for tree seeds yet? No. We're going to do uh, tree seeds in 
here. Because we do have some ebony seeds in here already. Which I... Ooh. You know what? These take a long time to grow. We should go plant these, like, right stat now. I'm going to come to the little sort of, like, lump of land I see right over here on the map. I'll plant them up here. One, two, three, get it, and four. Okay. He is the one Kurazar. I don't get the reference, unfortunately. <laughs> I lose. Okay, so we have a good number of logs. Bear in mind that these, the Kapok, will only give us three logs per block. Um, let's just dig... We have plenty of soil. Let's just make a little mound here. For our charcoal pit. And we probably won't fill up even a whole layer. Just suspicion. Yeah, we are pretty low on logs. Um, that's going to be... That should fill one layer, I think. Plus the extra for starting the fire. So let's just do that. We're going to need some flint axes here. Because I don't want to blow through the rest of our pricey axes. There we go. And we will use bones for the handles. Extra durability, why not? And I will tuck the good axe somewhere else. Oh, we have we have very little storage space, so I think I'm gonna slap another tool rack right there. <laughs> it's a great spot, trust me. I'm a doctor, but I'll lie to you. I might even dig out the other tools just so they're out and visible. Got a knife. Yeah, let's just drop you up there. I'm going to throw this old knife away. Goodbye. And let's get started on this charcoal pit. Or finish it, I should say. And done. Now, the real question will be if I can use the was it the uh, pick block to oh I can pick block. Oh, this is a great mod. It knows what I want. No shuffling my inventory to get these out of here. Oops. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Okay, shuffle time. <laughs> if you mess up, you gotta open your inventory. Alright, let's go ahead and cover this up with some doit. And down our fire pit. Oh, that's dark. There we go. All right. So, charcoal is on. That means that we are free to start on the BBB, Bring Back Bees, task. Because we need to get some candle making going. And probably some honey production so we can start making poultices eventually if we find some sulfur. So let's... Ooh, the spears are in bad shape. So are you. But we are going to need to leave... 
our bag on the ground here somewhere. Right there. That we can carry the full skep. And I think aside from that, I'm going to make a couple more spears. But I'll just bring these with me. That way if we meet any friendly puppies, we can uh, unfriend them straight away. Welcome, Alice Hellcat. Still haven't found bees or limestone. Uh, I have a couple episodes on how to find bees. Uh, those are... Bees are, I mean, not easy. I mean, they're easy, as long as you can look in the right areas. But they often spawn in places where you'll find wolves and or bears. So they are... They can be a bit of a challenge sometimes. As for limestone, uh, that question comes up a lot. Of like, what biome do I look in? Well, you just run. <laughs> Pick a direction and you run until you see the nice white limestone or chalk. Or if you are in other sedimentary areas, you can also just um, hook around for borax with a pro pick. And actually, while we're out here, I do want to see among these kapok trees if there are any purple heart trees. Oh my. Oh my. That's, that's hyenas. <laughs> bork, bork, bork. Oh, that's hyena too. Oh, that's still coming after me. Okay. <laughs> no thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh, why are you guys way out here? What was that? I heard a very weird noise I did not like the sound of. But we ran straight into some amaranth, so yeah. Grab some of this. Hopefully nothing eats our butts while we die. Or butts while we harvest, and then we die. Cassava. Oh, my good friend Cassava. Bye. <laughs> I don't think you guys understand just how much I hate using cassava in this game. It's just such a burden. <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's technically food, but so is leather. <laughs> now, for all of you uh, about to, to shout about the Kurazar rain curse, bear in mind we are in a jungly area where it is common for rainfall at the moment. But yes, so far we are now three for three, technically, on rain in Kurazar episodes. Now, I did want to take a look at these trees here. If I can find them in the dark. That's k -pop. Uh Oh, we have Chert here, too. I forgot about that. That's a baby k -pop. Baby k -pop. Baby shark. All you parents probably cursing me right now. For putting that in your head. We have... Ooh, a big K-Pac. We'll leave that one alone. Medium K-Pac. Medium K-Pac. <gasps> ooh! Ooh! Ah, boar. With no babies. Okay, so you're you're safe-ish. Okay. We have our first pineapples. Ooh! Two boar. Don't have babies right now, please. Whatever you do. And we get seeds. We got a pineapple seed. So, hey, we got our first farmable fruit. Well, I think we have some berries. Those count, too, I guess. So, yeah, we found bees right over here, and yes, we do have a skep. For those of you who want to know what they sound like, I wonder if you can hear them over the rain. But there's sort of like that sort of hum in the background. So I'm going to grab the skep. I'm probably going to grab the flowers, because flowers are kind of rare around us. But, uh, boop. There's our skep. Grab these flowers. Maybe even kill the sand pillar. Just a little bit of an eyesore. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna not smack us in the face with flowers. I think some of the new 1.19 animations do need some more tuning. <laughs> Alright. Put our flowers back. We have our single pineapple seed. That's going to go in the ground, and then we'll wait for literally half a year. 
Anything else interesting in here? It's a really small jungle area. Uh, nothing crazy in here. Not seeing any purple hearts, though. So, I think... Yeah, we got the bees, so let's run back. We'll make a little uh, patch for the bees, probably up by, next by the farm, next to the farm. I don't think there's going to be a need to fence them in, because raccoons won't spawn here, because it is far too warm. So our bees will just be naked. Naked bees. Turkey asks, would a desert-only playthrough be feasible? Yes, it actually is. Uh, I, it's, it's a definite challenge, which is why I didn't uh, go for it. I'll take you, why not? Cassava. It's there, why not? Uh, but I actually watched um, Oscilloscope, or Oscilloscape. I forget if it's scope or scape. They did a desert challenge, in addition to an Arctic challenge, and a couple others, I think. A couple, like, 100 days style challenges. But yeah, desert living, desert only is feasible. Um, you do rely a lot on the cacti for sustenance, and you rely a lot on um, the vessels for seeds. You won't really find much growing out in the desert. Surprise, surprise. Michael Greenhill says, yeah, I got smashed by a moose. Yeah, they'll, uh, They'll surprise you. I was getting, uh, like, rushed by one. It was sort of like, run at me and then stop, and then run at me and stop. Like, it was just trying to get me to go away. That might have been a bug in their behavior, but it was interesting, at least. Hey there, KD. Welcome. Okay, is doing fine. How about the rest of the chat? You guys doing good? Hey, more lead. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, and now seven lead deposits. Not bad. Not bad at all. Useless to us right now, but great for later. Nasty. Are bears... Is bears AI weird right now? Um, I think a lot of the animal AI is kind of wonky. Uh, I've had a lot of instances where animals, like, rush at me and then, like, they attack, but they can't hit me. Yeah, I shouldn't drink the water. There's a lot of lead here. <laughs> That's why the bears are always so aggressive. Too much lead in the water. Okay, so we have seeds from the cassava. Going to get dumped in there. I might leave these here, actually. I'm going to trade this clay out of here to make room for our, well, for more seeds eventually. I think I have more clay in here. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's just drop clay into this one. Boop. There we go. Uh, all right, I have a dedicated box for sandstone, don't I? Yes, okay. So that goes in there. That is nicely smoking. So I can grab this out of here. Oh, I can grab our soup, too. Oop, there we go. Let's have our breakfast. Now we've spent the entire night running. And you pop in there. You three come with me. Cassava gets to go in here, mostly to spoil. But I need to make some uh, fence posts. Can I make them out of K-Pok? We're going to find out. I think they're like something like this, and then an axe somewhere in here. I have no idea. We're going to find out together. There we go. Ah, that's what it is. Oop, there we go. That should be plenty. I need actually one more set to complete it. And that will be that. Get, get in the box.
Aiden, welcome. Been watching from the early days. Wow, long time viewer. Good to see you. All right, so let's get in here. We're going to drop these seeds. I know I said I don't like mixing seed types, but we are pretty limited on resources. So we get our one pineapple in the corner. It goes in the timeout corner. And then our two onions. And we are full up. So that brings us to bees. I'm going to grab these flowers too. And we're going to drop a few of these posts right along the water's edge, I think. Two, three. There we go. Get our forever bee operation going pretty much right away. And where's our skip? Skip is down here. And you get to go right there. And let's fill it up with flowers. Very bushy flowers. It's going to make it hard to see if I miss any spots. And we're out. <laughs> like I said, desert or flowers in the desert are going to be a little tough. A little bit tough to find. I see a few out there, but I'm not going to make a dedicated flower run at the moment. Hello, bear. Hey, sun bear. Why are you still in this area? Like... You should just hate my smell or something. Grr to you too. Is Nightbot being silly, guys? I had a feeling it might be, because it was a bit silly to me earlier. Nash, she says, you haven't watched RoomWorld stuff? I don't recommend it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I started this channel... Uh, 2017 or 18? I forget when I did those videos. It was a long time ago, and uh, didn't really know what I was doing. Still don't, but it's not as obvious now, I guess. Let's see, I need some skeppage. Do we have any more papyrus hanging around? We do. We have enough for one skep. Great. <laughs> oh, I need some clay as well. All right. Tell you what, let's grab enough for one more skip. And I'm going to go and grab some papyrus from somewhere that's not our new papyrus field. There's some right over here. Just grab one. And some flowers over here. Why not? Oh, there's chickens. <gasps> there's a boatload of chickens, too. There's that one. There's, like, three over there. There's a lot of smoke in my face. There we go. Oh, my goodness. One, two, three, four over there. One, two, three. Mmm. Guys, we are doing chickens today at some point. Well, maybe not today, but... Some point soon, chickens are happening. All right. There's our single piece of papyrus for our second skip. I'm going to grab these flowers here, too, while we're right here. As you know, everybody beats their flowers out of the ground with a ladder in their hand. It's the best tool for getting your, your uh, flowers up. I swear, the game is just putting flowers in between me and where I need to go to put them. There we are. Okay, so get our second skip going on here. Boop, there we are. And I'm going to put the second seed skip here to get it going. And we'll just put you here as a bit of a ridge. And then I guess we will also surround you and surround you. Yep, it's surrounded. All right, so I think that's going to show the obvious flaw in the plan is that I don't have a lot of 
easy to access papyrus. Now I could spend like a solid minute here, maybe even two, just chopping at these with a knife. Not going to, because that would be very boring. Instead, I want to make a scythe, but our charcoal pit is still burning. So I think in the meantime, we're going to go on a bit of a prospecting mission. We've only prospected one place right here, right underneath our home. So I think we're going to start by going to the spots where we have dug out some ruins, where there's some exposed stone, as well as maybe a couple other places like our mines over here. And we'll do a bit of, uh, bit of prospecting. Ben Ben says the crops count as flowers for bees. Yes, some crops do, not all of them. And some of them only count during certain specific stages of their growth cycles. Someone also said that I missed some blocks down here. They're long gone by now, but I will, I could have sworn I got them all. But uh, yeah, I'll keep an eye out for that in the future. Let's see what's here. Let's grab you. And you. What do we got? Galena? Yeah, no. <laughs> really, we have Galena here. I couldn't have said, told you that. Uh, Malachite, Borax, some black coal nearby, but not a ton. Frankly, I'll go with whatever coal shows up first, frankly. Let's try over here. Oh, and you know what? While we're out here, more flowers. So this is a dual purpose mission. We're going to get a read of the geological profile of the landscape and bring back more flowers for the bees. What have we got? Galena Sulfur Malachite. Okay. Oh, sulfur is nice to have. Let's see. I do want to stay in sedimentary areas, which means we're not going to be going into the slate areas to prospect. So we might end up heading back out to our beach here and do some prospecting in this chert area. I'll probably head up here too. We'll go a bit farther south, but I don't want to stray too far into slate territory because it just means we'll have like a very thin layer of sedimentary rock for containing any coal we might find. And hyenas. Hello, hyenas. And do my eyes deceive me, or is that floating? Oh, that's just one of the uh, geological pools, isn't it? Welcome, the smile for you and me. Thanks for coming to the stream. And lo and behold, we have more lead. I will admit that I'm kind of splitting my attention between reading chat and uh, looking around on the ground for stuff, so I might miss some stones on the ground. I would love some more malachite, though. I also wouldn't mind a cave to poke my head down just for prospecting purposes. Rather than digging a hole. I think we're far enough here. What's curious to me is I thought that slate didn't form above sedimentary rock, but here we have chert that goes right into slate. Which is kind of weird. Oh, we have some of the... Uh, Really cool silver cacti. That's pretty cool. We will definitely want some of those for our eventual garden. And is this a meteorite? Yes, it is. Look at that. <laughs> I just saw that little dent. I'm like, that's got to be a meteorite. Sure it is. Yeah, I've actually seen uh, Solston's boiler room. It's a really cool design. Um, 
As far as like building one out this far though, it's a little bit of a hike for temporal storms. So I'm not sure that I'll build one out here. I think if I were to do a boiler room design or, or build, I'd probably want to uh, pick a, a world in a spawn location that like it where it's literally right next to my house. Because having to run for like a solid minute before you get to your uh, drifter pit is not a great way to survive. I spy rusty gear and trouble most likely. But let's take a reading here. Oh, let's not do that though. I'll take you, why not? Galena, Hematite, Alan, Cinnabar, and not a lot of any of them. Wow, that's uh, unfortunate. Okay, well, I think we need to run probably back north-ish. Let's go over to where we started and maybe dig underneath our trader buddy over here. I'll actually pin him on the map here. If I can press the right buttons. <laughs> I saw this name, Pottery Trainer, and or Trader, and we've been doing potty training this week, which is exciting for those of you who know uh, uh, what it's like. It's a blast, sometimes literally. And uh, my mind read that as Potty Trainer, not Pottery Trader. <laughs> All right, we got some fruit to fill out our diet a little bit. Give us a few more hit points. And I know I, I could be waiting to eat these until we're wounded, because these do heal you a little bit. Uh, no, thank you. Meh. Little goats. Black, 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 black. I'm still keeping my eyes peeled for more malachite. It's not super likely to find it here, but uh, would very much love some more easy to reach abundant copper. All right, I'm gonna stay away from those guys. I'm also gonna remove these. Serve our food a bit. Oh, here's some exposed stone. Let's take a reading over here. Why not? Uh, let's see, is there any stone here? Yes. Oh, that's sand. Oh, the boiler's busted. That's unfortunate. Oh, let's see. Hematite, Cassiterite. Ooh, Cassiterite. That's good to know. Cinnabar and Ilmenite. Now, as I recall, the cows are also aggressive, so we're going to stay away from them, too. And this is spelts. We'll take it. These will do reasonably well in the heat. Although we probably don't need spelt, except for maybe, like, trading bread to traders, because... Hey, hey copper. Uh, because we have the amaranth, and that will do a little bit better here. Oh, I'm a dummy. I left my extra bag back at base. <laughs> I just noticed that. Oh well. And more lead, of course. Man. The game is telling me something. A little bit of Chalkos everything. Okay, so we are well into the chert area. I think here I will dig down and we will just do a good old traditional Kurzar cheesy version of the uh, <laughs> Propic where we sit down and do this. Although with a copper pickaxe it's kind of slow. 
Well, everyone, that's about all the time we have for this episode of Vintage Story Desert Life. If you enjoyed the episode, let me know by leaving a like or a comment in the section below. And as always, my name has been Corazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.